materials. So today we will discuss about the production of electricity from solar energy. Solar energy, you know, which is the main source of energy, naturally occurring source of energy that is sun. Okay, sun. We are getting energy from this sun. Solar energy. Now, how we will use that solar energy in the production of, or you can say, to generate electricity. So there are several ways. For example, solar panel, wind energy, hydroelectric power plant. So these are actually what they are doing. They are taking the energy from the sun, and in return, what we are getting electricity. But the thing is that how, how the things are occurring, how this means how what the process occurs in that solar panel, so that we are getting energy means from the sun energy only we are getting heat. Oh, sorry, we are getting electricity. So how we will get electricity? This is uh, we will discuss today. The in solar cell. So first I am here discussing what is solar cell. In solar cell, what happens? That the sunlight, okay, the energy, okay, sun energy, solar energy which is coming from the sun, uh, it is can say hit on the solar panel. It hit on the solar panel. And solar panel is made up of what? Solar cells. And solar cell is made up of solar panel is made up of solar cells. And solar cell is made up of semiconductors. Semiconductors, okay. Solar panel actually it are semiconductor. Semiconductor, which semiconductors are there? Uh, silicon and phosphorus. Silicon and phosphorus, and one more is there? Aluminium. Hmm. So you can see that solar cells are made up of semiconductors, and semiconductor, what is semiconductor? It's Bounded, they will their arrangement will get disturbed and they will also start 
you can say flow of charge flow of charge will be there okay this is insulator supposed to be made up of plus okay so what will happen they will also start moving because arrangement disturb okay but the bond is there covalent bond is there so that covalent bond will break though because photons are coming from uh, high and you can say with very energy they will hit that semiconductor arrangement and it will disturb the whole arrangement and result is that it will conduct electricity when you will here uh, produce means attach wire when you will attach wire so what will happen the electrons will start moving here and here this proton so positive they start moving here and it glows so this is how that solar cell is producing electricity this is how solar cell is producing electricity this is the only concept that when light some light falls on the semiconductor then it the photons which are in coming from in the form of radiation they will disturb the whole arrangement in the they will disturb the whole arrangement and the result is that the because of that they will disturb so here also some electrons and protons are able some electrons and protons are able to move and result is what that it will produce electricity the production of flow of electron the production of flow of proton it become what electricity now how solar panel how solar uh, you can say solar cell is what happening in solar cell when solar cells are made up of semiconductors and when the temperature of these semiconductor in increases their conductivity increases now you understood conductivity increases means if so many uh, pro uh, photons will hit this arrangement so more electrons more number of charges are able to flow okay more number of uh, charges able to flow which is that that there will be increase in the electricity so what will happen it is made to uh, the semiconductor like silicon when sunlight is made to fall on impure semiconductor then a potential differences develop potential differences develop look here a potential differences develop and the result is I didn't sep made separate. This is the, this is one solar cell, okay? This is one solar cell. This is made up solar cell. I just to make you understand, I make this diagram. That semiconductor is having the property of uh, conductor as well as insulator. For your understanding, I made this diagram. Okay? This is semiconductor board. Solar cell is made up of semiconductors. semiconductor i made this diagram so that you this uh, i made this you can say wide diagram so that you can understand what's happening inside the solar panel got get it got to everyone so yes you are late again just uh, look here this uh, concept we are talking about the how we will produce electricity from solar energy so if we are talking about the solar energy then only one thing comes in our mind that is sun okay so what happened actually uh, solar cell and solar uh, solar power plant uh, and you can say hydroelectric power plant these are some uh, you can say ways in which we are using solar energy to good for production of electricity so here the first we are discussing about the solar panel solar panel is made up of solar cell and solar cell is made up of semiconductor and what is semiconductor which is having the property of conductor as well as insulator okay so conductor property means what in which there are number of electrons are free to move and insulator property is what that number of electrons or you can number charges are or you can say atoms are tightly bounded that's why that, that insulator is known as white conductor of heat and electricity and for conductor white conductor is known as bad conductor of uh, good conductor of electricity and heat because of the flow of the charges so normally at room temperature semiconductor doesn't conduct electricity at room temperature but if we will increase the temperature then it start means we can say its conductivity will increase this is the diagram i made for understanding this semiconductor does not look like this i uh, made this so that you can understand the semiconductor is having the property of conductor as well as insulator and conductor means that there are number of flow of the charges the charges are free electrons are free atoms are free to move but in insulators atoms are tightly bounded they are not free to move so what happen actually when sunlight falls on the solar cell okay sunlight falls sunlight radiation having what photons so when photons hit this uh, arrangement when photons will hit, hit this arrangement and what will happen the arrangement of like atoms will disturbs obviously when some thing anything from the outside will come and insert inserted in and hit the other atoms so obviously it will what will happen that disturbance will you can create it disturbance will create it 
so because of the disturbance now some atoms are we can say that covalent bonds between them breaks and now some atoms are free to move and because, because now some charges are free to move so because of this conductor is all have always having this property that the charges can flow but here because of this the extra photon now the charges are able to flow and when charges are and when you will keep when you will ins you can say insert a wire here and a bulb so what you will observe that the charges start flowing because of because continuously photons are hitting okay so because of the sunlight continuously photons are hitting and then there is a continuously flow of the charges which results in the production of electricity this is the only basic concept we are using in solar cell okay now solar cell you understood solar panel is what solar panel is what where so many solar cells are there okay this is i told you the working of one solar cell solar panel is what when some how many solar cells are attached so what will happen obviously then sun will sunlight will fall same procedure is there and and you can see in your diagram that they attach a battery they attach a battery to conduct electricity attach a battery then they attach electric motor because we can store electricity we can store electricity in a in the form of battery they store the electricity in the form of battery and that electricity is um, generate uh, electric motor is attached to that battery so which is what it is uh, you can say that that electricity that is stored energy will go in the electric motor and the electric motor what it is using the electric motor is dragging or you can say is pushing all the underground water above okay so just look in your diagram look in your diagram so what is happening here the electric motor is what it is yes you can say pushing up underground the water and we are storing that water in a water pump and after that we can use that water pump for various purpose okay so we are using electricity we use electricity means we use solar energy first so the energy produ produce electricity then that electricity we store that uh, production of electricity and then we use in the form uh, in the, uh, that electric motor electric motor what electric motor push all the water uh, from the underground water and that we collected in the water pan and that collected water now can be used for various purpose this is what you are working of solar cell okay it's not thing everything is not in air that okay solar cell is there so it is the sunlight will fall on the solar panel then it created electricity inside also this process is going on okay now if anyone is asking how solar cell is working so you will not say that sir because of the sunlight you will explain this whole procedure this very simple procedure nothing is there just you have to just understand because already you are having a knowledge of semiconductor and that knowledge uh, conductor and insulator that only we are used here so you can explain easily now how that uh, we are getting electricity from the solar cell so this is all about the solar cell and solar panels means number of solar cells so actually what happen uh, this like in winters you can say solar cells are not you can say they are not per, uh, working properly okay they are not useful so how we will do means the uh, you have seen the areas where so many solar cells are attached so our means sunlight is coming okay fine sunlight is uh, they, uh, reflecting on that uh, you can say inserting on uh, the solar cell but still we are not getting that much pro uh, proper you can say amount of electricity so for that how what we will do for that so that all sunlight will concentrated on this solar panel suppose this is solar panel okay this is solar panel made up of solar cells so what we are doing because sunlight is falling then also we are not getting enough amount of electricity okay we are not getting enough amount of electricity what they are using then in solar power plant in solar power plant they are using concave reflectors concave reflectors they are uh, you can say make is they, they you put here one concave reflector and one here and one here and one here concave reflector what it concave reflector do concave reflector the sunlight which are coming on the solar panel pol solar panel and which are coming on which are inserting you can say on the solar reflector oh, sorry concave reflector so the light sunlight will come like this and then it will reflect on the solar panel yes so what happened we concentrated the all sunlight is concentrated on the solar panel and that's the reason it produce uh, enough amount of electricity getting my point i why concave reflector are using so that we can uh, you can say cut the, so that it will we can concentrate all the sunlight on the solar panel getting my point 
understood so why we are using concave reflector this also uh, you understood that why we are using what is the use of concave reflector so that all light will come to the solar panel okay because uh, already sunlight is falling on this this panel but the, the on uh, means uh, by putting concave reflector what they are we are doing that whatever the sunlight is falling on that con concave reflector that also after reflecting it's come into the uh, on, on the solar panel and that's what we need concentration of all lights so when number of photons increases number of photon increases they are regularly hitting okay increase the temperature we increase obviously it will increase the temperature if all radiations will uh, concentrate on this panel only so number of photons increase continuously increasing which result which result that more number of charges are able to flow okay so there will be more disturbance so therefore the, the in the atoms which are in insulator which are by you can say uh, tightly bounded by covalent bonds the covalent bonds will break and they are able to move free and when they are able to move free uh, the more number of charges will go here the number of charges will come here so result is what production of electricity i should use this negative fine so this is how your solar power plant and solar cell is working you can see in your uh, page number 111 solar plant solar power plant it is a device in which heat energy of sun can be focused yes that word i was searching that is not coming into my mind focus concentrated focus okay focus by means of concave reflectors to generate electricity this is what we are using in solar power plant and in solar uh, cells or you can say solar panel this concept is there so this is all